Question is from Big Daddy Bass. What do you think is overall better for muscular health and longevity? Stretching, foam lert rolling, or mobility work? Mobility. Okay. Well, see, in, you know, mobility work encompasses both stretching, foam rolling, right. and other things. So that this is the reason why I picked this question is I think it's important to explain to people what mobility really encompasses. Mobility refers to your ability to move through a full range of motion and have complete yeah. control with strength and stability through that that range of motion. That means you have good mobility. Now I know mobility in other circles may be used to just mean range of motion, like oh how far can you stretch or how far can you move a joint or whatever. That's your mobility. That's not the way we use it. The way we use it is can you move through that full range of motion but own it? Also own it. Also have strength and connection to it. Now, what are the methods to improve that kind of mobility? They include stretching. Stretching does a phenomenal job at increasing range of motion. It doesn't give you any strength or connection to that range of motion, but it gives you that range of motion. Foam rolling is another great thing that you can use. How does foam rolling work? Well, there's some debate as to how it works exactly, but it does allow people to move better with certain exercises. That way you can strengthen better movement pattern. So well, if I foam roll before I squat, I may squat better, so therefore I'm going to strengthen better squats because of it. Here's where I'm going to challenge you. One of these three things can live without the others. Oh. If you if you have if you have the proper range of motion and you do one of these three things, you can eliminate the other two. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you, well, mobility if work includes all really of them. What do you mean? Well, if you, you if, you, if, if you do if you have if you can do okay mobility drills like flow sessions sure. like we have in our our hit program, if you can do those properly and with good form, you may never have to foam roll or stretch. Yeah, sure, totally. Now, if you cannot do some of these mobility drills and you're limited. Stretching and foam rolling are tools to help you get there. Totally, yeah. and and th and this is so, and, and I'm very passionate about this because uh, you know I was I'm just recently talking to my my stepdad's uh, new wife and she's about to do hip surgery, and uh, one of the things that I'm stressing to her is that you may get the temporary relief after the surgery. In fact, you probably will. You'll probably feel amazing. Uh, but you're going to be back into this same place if you don't do the mobility work. If you don't work on your internal and external rotation of the hips because you keep resting on the joint. Exactly. And so, and I said, but what's great is if you do put the work in to get there and to get these mobile hips, if you just stay up on the mobility drills, you may never have to, you know, you know, static stretch or foam roll ever again. Mm -hmm. And why I'm passionate about this is because I've, I've watched it happen to many clients and I've experienced it myself mm -hmm. That once I did put all the work in to get that full range of motion up, as long as I did mobility drills that promoted that, the foam rolling and the stretching was. Oh, as I, I could totally speak to that in, in the way I used to train with my clients too. I would have them foam roll before every session, yep. you know, and I would have them like, uh, you know, do some dynamic uh, movements and things to kind of you know get warmed up before I realized like the the true value in, in getting into these mobility drills. It it promotes all those things. Like it, the movement of it is what it, it, it promotes the, the strength, the control over it. And really it's, it, it's about having access. So if I'm in a, in a certain range of motion, I just know that I can, I can muscularly uh, command uh, a way to, to brace and protect my joint. It depend, look, it depends who you're talking to, right? So if you have good movement patterns, if you can move through full ranges of motion, you can just lift weights with good form deep squats and deadlifts and Z presses and rows and do that really well and work through full ranges of motion. And you'll probably never have to do a lot of the other stuff. Now, those other things are definitely tools. Uh, mm -hmm. They're tools. If you don't have that kind of mobility, you find you have areas you can work on, you can utilize those tools to help you. You can yeah. utilize yeah. them. And, and good mobility work tends to encompass all of it. You're right. A mobility drill en encompasses stretching and activation throughout the whole movement. You mentioned the the flow drills that we have in in in, in maps hit. 
Those are ba- those are supposed to improve mobility. Go through those and tell me you don't feel lots yeah. of muscle and stretching. What, what I was I forgot to mention. Well, like so the the knots, right? So that's the biggest thing that people like want to attribute is it relieves my knots and you know these things that form these these pressure points uh, on my body if I do the foam rolling and you, you come to realize doing these mobility drills it relieve it relieves that stress it, it like that that pain like alleviates it prevents them from getting there in the first right. place. That's what that too. that's what it does and you can. If, if again, if you're if you're incredible at uh, at each one of these individually, that you still would have to like for you could be incredible at stretching. Sure. Like you do yoga all the time, sure. but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have mobility, right? You're flexible. You're flexible. You could take the, you can do the splits, but do you have control through that range of motion? Yeah, and that yeah. that's where that's different. So stretching alone by itself is not good enough. No. Foam rolling by itself, foam rolling addresses the temporary relief. It relieves those knots. Oh, okay, now I can actually move a little bit better. So mm-hmm. yes, it's a tool again. But again, foam rolling by itself without anything else doesn't work. But good mobility done correctly can live alone by itself. If you own the range of motion, you have control of it. So I'm talking to somebody right now who is in their early 20s. They have no joint pain. They have good mo- they can they can move their joints through full range of motion. They don't want to waste their time stretching and doing foam roll. Just if, mobility you, work. if you do mobility work, or to your point, Sal, doing full range of motion of all these different exercises that challenges each range of motion on every major joint, you will never have to probably stretch your foam roll. No, no. I mean, again, just having a good range of motion. I mean, <laughs> reality is having a good range of motion without strength is is, is causes In- instability. It causes instability. It actually, is a lack of mobility. Uh, at least the way that we're describing. I've worked with clients like this. You know, I trained, I trained a few women who were hyper flexible, hyper. They had long ranges of motion. One of them just did lots and lots of static stretching. The other one was just born that way. And um, they were constantly hurting themselves Mm -hmm. because they didn't have enough strength and tension to hold things into place. It was loose. Yeah, it was. Like I was going through all the research and everything when I was looking at isometric training and just isometric training in itself has an analgesic effect. So that it basically they proven that it alleviates pain. Uh, and, and again, I think this is just, you know, speaks back to the fact that it just creates more stability. Your body like it, it reduces that signal that we need to take care of this. Totally.